we're gonna call this business with lethal because he's gonna educate us on a couple of things that obviously he's been doing now as you can see the cap he's wearing it's a stay dench Talk to us about this whole stage edge policy. Oh, t-shirt as well? T-shirt, yeah, yeah. Can I get a t-shirt? Yeah, I'll line you up, I'll line you up. Woo! Like a butter. You're due a couple to be fair, so I got you, I ain't forgot, I got you, I got you. That's like Ross bubble. There you go. But yeah, what was saying? Oh yeah, obviously, you know, um, the brand is just obviously just taking my storm and, you know, organically just started going crazy. And um, when we just started seeing the success after we shut down the Grand Daily shop, because too many you definitely did. We were buying it and we didn't have enough stock, so everyone was complaining and, Hey, Paul, like, yo, what's going on? You know, kind of realized, yo, like, this is a month for this thing. So, mm -hmm. obviously, we've done a little t shirts and that. So, ridiculous amount. And then we thought, oh, let's expand the thing. So, obviously, we went into like sweatshirts, hoodies, snapbacks, obviously. Like, and this is like a starter cap. Like, we've done a collaboration with Starter Cap. With Star. Yeah, Dench. So, this will be like online this weekend. So, yeah, we're going in like that. And um, yeah, you know, we're just we're just trying to just take it all over the world, you know, obviously because of the Frim Pong foot connection. Yeah, how did that come about? Because obviously I support Arsenal, big time Arsenal, but Frim Pong, that's, listen, I'm yeah, yeah, it. done. Like, Frim Pong's like a real close friend of the family and stuff, like, yeah. you know, he grew up with um, one of my cousins back in Ghana, like, in the early 90s and stuff, so when he come over here, you know, it was just inevitable, like, you know. So he's always known him, because I remember when he was yeah. that younger and he's yeah, a yeah, yeah, farm, he's, so. Yeah, uh, what's it called? Cool? The academy Arsenal and stuff, so he's come through the ranks and stuff. Now he made it for the first team, but yeah, man, you know, obviously, like, that's my boy there, and obviously, you know, we just thought, you know what, we might as well just put our heads together and you know, see what happens. And then, obviously, I'm on the music side, he's from the sports side, so it's yeah. like bringing two best of both worlds together. You know, we've got the Arsenal fans, you know, we've got the music fans, oh, you know, and it's just it's just it's just gone crazy, man. Now, I was reviewing the record, obviously, I did the singles come review on um, one extra with Twin B. Imagine this, they've said you're reviewing Leave It yet. Yeah. Now I didn't hear the remix but on it, just Scoop Scoopers have told me he was on it. I was like, yeah, I can't wait to hear that brother. Then I heard my brother, Fring Pong. <laughs> How did that even come about, Fring Pong is MCing on the track? Cause you know what it is, yeah? He got injured now, and he's like, oh, I'm bored, man, I want to do something. Come here, go studio. I'm like, leave it, yeah, like, come <laughs> on, oh, man, do your rehab and fix your knees. Like, nah, man, nah, man, get me a beat, man, I want to do, I want to do a tune. So I right, cool. when the right thing come, I'm gonna line you up. So one day we're in my yard now. This is after that the purple dingling's kind of like, you know, gone out of control. And then uh, basically, um, I'm in my yard and I'm doing the remix and I'm playing him. I'm playing him everyone's verse and I'm playing him Fisco's verse. I'm playing him Scoop Fizz's verse. I'm playing him Flowdown verse. He's like, what? Well, I want to do a verse, innit? it? Boy, do this, that, that. You got, you, you got, you got, you got, you got, you got bars, innit? So we're in my living room. And he just starts skanking out in my living room. Say that you get free mom. Say that you get free mom. Yeah, you know. I'm like, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. That night with studio, lace it down. Two twos now. Man, pull it out there for a while. Let's see what the people think. It's mad. YouTube now, all the comments. Frimp on that, tick, frimp on that, tick, frimp on I was like, bro, I want to say frimp on that. The tune, yeah, two twos now. A couple of weeks later, choose on 200,000 hits. I'm like, yeah, two twos now. I must do a quick video. Video's coming out, the video should be out now to be fair when you watch this, but your video's out today. So um so yeah man, it's a good look man and like obviously like grind as well, so it's like repping the realness, you know what I'm saying? And um yeah, it's the tune, the tune, the tune's a bit dench. A bit dense, more than a bit dense. So now what I want just the last bit of advice is how do you make yourself a brand? Because you know when you think of certain people, like certain mm. artists are just literally rappers. Yeah. When I think of you, I think of you as a brand, not just an artist, I think of you as a businessman as well. Yeah, I think yeah. of you obviously you've got into t-shirts, hats, um, You've always done everything on a larger scale. Yeah. Um, yeah. A bit of advice for the people, because this is obviously a business corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, definitely. You know what it is? Like, it's, it's, it's hard to explain because I'm really like, it's, it's, it's come natural with me. You know, I think, I, I think you know what it is? I think I kind of got thrown into the deep end with um, being in Morphi through so early okay. and, you know, getting signed, you know, when I was like 18, you know, and, Mad. you know, we kind of lost our deal and, like, Grand Garage kind of got shut down and we had to kind of go independent. So it's kind of them things I got forced to be independent and stand on my own two feet. And I've always, you know, kept that mentality throughout my life, like ever since then, you know, and obviously, you know, I started my label, then the Lethal Bizzle Records thing, I done PAL, you know, and then I've got my album, you know, and then I just always, always think independent first, you know, and, um, and yeah, and I just think it's one of those things where you got, you kind of got to approach it. On a on a on a long time on a long term scale and on a business scale, I approach everything on a business scale. Everything on a business scale, even this interview, everything. It's all business. Everything, yeah, everything is on a business scale. So you know, it's one of I think I was just kind of born with that mentality. But I just think people, if you want to get into 
to the game, you know, you gotta have a plan. You know, you gotta have a you gotta have a platform, you gotta have a, a real, you know, detailed strategy of what you wanna do. You know, you have to have a start and an end and you need to do what you can to get to the end in within reason, you know. But um, it all starts with a plan man and having a good idea. It's, all I wanna say